to another How to Code Well video tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher and today we're going to take a basic look at PHP arrays. Now before I begin I'll just uh, explain what an array is in terms of PHP. And you can think of it like a collection of data. It's actually a, an ordered map of key value pairs. So for example um, each element in that array will have its own key. So you'll, you'll understand more once I, once I create the array, which I'm just about to do. So we're going to define a variable, and we're going to call that ARR. We're going to equal that to the word array. Now we need to have um, parentheses like so, and we're just going to press enter. Now if I was to do a, a raw print, whoops, a print R of the ARR, we will see that it's an empty array like so. So the array will contain values and their associated keys. So in order to fill this up, we would do ARR is equal to the array again. And we would create uh, a key. And we're just going to do key one. And we're going to equal that or assign that, sorry, to value one. And then to add another element to this array, we would do key two and we would assign that to the of the value to and then we would close the parentheses um, and then run that and then if we did a raw print of the ARR variable we will see the contents of the array and that's populated like so so on the left here you've got the keys in these square brackets and on the right you have their associated values now there is another way to uh, generate an array and that's to use the, the shorthand method which is to um, only use the square brackets. So I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to do that again. So ARR equals the square brackets um, and if we were to just run that and do a raw print of ARR whoops, we would just get the blank array as we did before. So in order to fill this uh, array up using the square brackets, we would do ARR is equal to square brackets and we would put in the key and assign that to the values as we did before, so value one. And then I'll just put in the next one for clarity. So key two is equal to value two, like so. And then if we did a raw print, of ARR, we will get the values as we did before. Now, we can actually add, a, uh, add elements to an array without specifying their keys. And in doing so, we, cr we automatically generate the, um, a numeric key for each value. So to do that, we would do ARR again, we would equal that to the brackets, and we would just put in the keys. So value one, and value two, like so. So notice I haven't um, used these symbols to associate the keys to their values. So if we were to just enter that and do a print of uh, ARR again, we can see that we've got the values in as before, but we have these new keys in. Now these new keys have been generated uh, by PHP and they always will start from zero because that's how the computer counts. It will always count from zero. So the first value, or value one, will always have the key of zero and value two will then have one. Okay, so that's how we generate an array, but how about adding uh, elements to an existing array? Notice every time I've done this example, I've had to, I've had to assign ARR to another ar array. So let's just clear the screen down and go ARR is equal to, and I'm going to put in the key of two is value. And I'm going to assign that to value three. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying um, add the key two to ARR, to the, va to the variable ARR, which is the array, and assign that to the va with the value of value three. So if I was to do print R, A, R, R again, we can see that we've actually added this, uh, this new element to an existing array. Now we can also retrieve 
um, an element from the array using its key. And in order to do that, we would do echo um, ARR, and we would choose the key that we want to retrieve. So in this case, let's say we want to retrieve the, the element with the key of one. So we would put the one in the bracket, and then we would echo that. So we would get um, value two. Now we can also remove elements from the array as well based on the key. And, in, and this is the example. So we would do unset. Now unset will remove the value, ARR, and we would do the key. So let's remove that value, so key of one. So that's unset. So if we did print R, we could see that we've actually removed that value, that key. Now notice that the the uh, the keys haven't reordered. It's zero and then two. Okay, so that's that's quite crucial. So uh, you can re-index the the arrays, and to do that, you would use a function called array underscore values, and that would re-index the arrays. But um, we by, by default, it doesn't do that. Okay, so that's the, a basic uh, intro into PHP arrays. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button if you found it useful and make sure to subscribe to get the next tutorial. If you have any comments, questions or queries, then please leave them in the comments section below. Alternatively, you can tweet them to my Twitter handle, which is PFWD. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.